do, you, you want to do a corn chowder, do Let's you? do a corn chowder. That's a favorite of mine. It used to be. I used to love it. And the Carla made it into a vegan corn. And I said, okay, if it's going to taste as good as what I remember, then I'm all for it. Let's get started. So you'll get me a pot. It. I will get you a pot. You get a pot. I'll get the corn for the corn chowder. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to... Um, start with this and um obviously we've got a lot of hungry cast and crew members so we have to make enough soup for everybody there's one young lady in particular who uh who enjoys the eating so we have to make sure we make enough for her we won't mention any names lucy so uh we will we will get started on the corn chowder um now aside from the what i remember of regular corn chowder it did contain a lot of it contained dairy Right. Yeah, and right. so we substitute now, instead of using, obviously, your dairy products like milk, you can use a soy milk, but we encourage you when you use this to use a soy milk that has absolutely no sugar in it because you don't really want, you know, a Swedish taste unless you like that, but uh, we're not going to try to do that. Right. Now, what do you need me to help you with, Carla? Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to put an onion in there and okay. go ahead and get that chopped. Now, this doesn't get a more poire. No more no poire on this, on this. See, no. I'm, I'm starting to dig that name because I feel like I'm speaking French, but I'm actually not. <laughs> but um, I kind of like that, you know, just because I thought it was just chopping up some onions, carrots, and celery to start as a stock, but I didn't know it had a famous French thing going on with it. So That's we're it. chopping up some onions for that. And it's very simple. Obviously, there's not that many ingredients to go with this. You know, you've got your, your corn. You've got your potatoes. And what is this? Uh, those are nutritional yeast flakes. Ah, we're, I've heard we'll, of these. We're going to go ahead and put some of those in there. And I'll tell you a little bit about those. We're going to put some oil. Does this need an oil You'll base as well? put a little bit of oil in there. Tiny bit of oil for that. Again, olive oil, virgin. A virgin olive oil. It's no, no man. Extra virgin. Yeah, extra virgin. <laughs> okay. Wow. Who, who knew? I mean, Okay, it's, once you're a virgin, you can get, get the extra virgin to style and work with that. All right, put the virgin olive oil in there. All right. All right. And if you'll saute that up for me. Okay. We're just, we want these onions to be translucent, not caramelized. No, yeah, just clear, that. just a little. Um, okay. Done. Where you get that, that strong onion flavor, that strong onion, you know, the pungency of the onion. We just want to yeah. take that off there. Okay. Okay. And when was the last time you had a good, or, a good corn chowder? And it's funny how, you know, when I became vegan, I just stopped eating so many different things. And a lot of people think that when you're a vegan, you're, 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 I don't know, your food choices are so limited. And that's, that's not that's true. That's very, that is just so not true. It's a misconception. I tell people that, and they're like, you're a vegan? They're like, and they look at me like, like I come from a, what do you eat? I've, I've even heard, I went to a restaurant and this waiter said, oh, I'm sorry for you. I yeah, said, you know, I know. No, I'm sorry for you. You're killing yourself. Oh, no, you didn't say that. Yeah, I thought it. I didn't oh. say it. Oh, okay, because that would be nice. It would not. It would be true, but it would be nice. <laughs> but what I learned was to go ahead and just take the same things that I love to eat and try to make them healthier where I can enjoy them. Being a vegan is not about about uh, depriving yourself of those things that you once yeah, loved. You actually get to eat so much more and there's so many different things that I had not even been exposed to in terms of the vegetable fruit world that I am open up to now and the flavors are just amazing. Exactly. You really, really are. Okay. Now what are we going to put in here? So um, we're starting to get a, it's already done pretty good. We're going to probably got to have to help me because this stove is like Okay, yeah. in there. let's speed that up because I'm actually hungry too. What do we got that going? Okay. We're actually going to go ahead and put our corn in there. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of, how's that? That is a lot of corn. And you know, I grew up poor, so we get everything Yes, I know. Out of actually, you know what? I could appreciate that because I've watched people cook things and leave half of the ingredients in the, in the bowl or the pan. Like I remember when my mom... She's a prime example of that. It's like when she was making a cake for me. And it was my cake, mind you. And I'm like, okay, Mom, can I have the batter? She'd scrape out every last drop. And I'm just looking at her like, is there anything going to be left for me to look? No, nope, hardly anything. It's like you're not so even you understand. understand. You I do. Understand. And she did it because she believed in saving and, you know, there all you that go. good stuff, making use of products. Now, what I've added was some garlic. Okay, fresh Gotta garlic. Gotta have garlic. I love garlic. Yes, I know. I know, I know, I know. 
people ask me, Carla, what'd you have for breakfast or dinner last night? Every was, every day, Carla. It, that's yes. it. But it's good for you. Good Very for good you. for you. What seasoning? We're gonna put some more garlic, garlic powder. Okay. Okay. Again, no salt. No salt. In it. No garlic salt. Some onion. Some um, dehydrated onion. Dehydrated onions. And some parsley. Parsley. Now this garlic has um, parsley in it. We're gonna put a little more. A little bit in more because it can't hurt. Right. We also have some chickenish seasoning. No chicken. <laughs> And a little time, okay? What kind of time do you have? Uh, it's three past ten. Shut up. <laughs> oh, see, you got me. Okay, you got me. All right, that's funny. All right, all right, three past. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got the, a little bit of time, a little bit of parsley. Right. Okay. And now yeah, these we'll nutritional yeast flakes. flakes. Very important because. Well, what do they look like? They look like flakes, Carla. And you know what they remind you of? They remind you of Carla. Fish food. You know the little flakes that you sprinkle in the wow. fish. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I was. <laughs> gonna, actually, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna quite say that, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> actually, these right here. Yeah. I didn't know of this, but it actually helps reduce your stress. Ah. No wonder we're such calm people. It's high in B complex. Uh huh. Which is very important for especially a lot of people who are vegans. You definitely have to have your, your vitamin B12s and, and your complexes, all the B-complex vitamins in your system. Very and good for you. it has 18 um, essential amino acids. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what are amino acids? People ask that. Okay. Well, they Start are that. the chemical unit Start or the one. building block, which makes up the um, body's protein. So... That I, I, I learned about these. So, you know, they, they and they taste cheesy too. That's they what can. I like. It gives it that cheesy flavor. So, see, there's your substitute right there. Now, this needs some liquid. We need some liquid. So, we're going to get you the water. A little water. A little bit of water. But, but we're going to make it, it rich. Okay, so I shouldn't add the water? Oh, we can do a little water. Oh, we talked about milk because obviously we, most of the other ones, the the, the other type of uh, corn chowder soups would have a rich cream or right. to make it really good. So we can still use that. Just add our soy milk. And that's what I'm using. I'm using an unflavored wow. soy milk. I have in a pinch, mm -hmm. use the sweet one. Why? Because you like it. Because that's what's in the house. Because you're just a sweet girl. <laughs> so literally you're saying don't knock yourself out. If you're if you are okay with the flavor, just go ahead with it. Yeah. I personally don't like to have you know, that going on in mind. So break down the sides and that. get that going. And we can just sift this to the back. And that also is ready for simmer. And let so, that simmer. Okay. And let that go. Okay. When it gets towards the end, um, when this is about done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, once those potatoes are done. Yeah. Okay. Then we're gonna add a little bit of vegan cheese to it. So in addition to the nutritional yeast plates, which gives it that nice cheesy flavor. Nice cheesy then flavor. Then we're gonna actually add some vegan cheese. So corny cheesy, cheese corny. <laughs> That's not bad. So we're not depriving ourselves. Let's get a lid on that. All right. There we go. 